point y'all to know this is a live webinar. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my screen off. Welcome you all here today with me for 12 highly effective ways to make money online. This is what today's training is going to be about. So I'm going to help you either find your side hustle or find a way to make some extra money online. Sometimes you just need to make a little extra cash or you may have some extra bills to pay. I know especially now with everything that we have going on, it is a lot for everybody. So for whatever reason, you want to make some extra cash or maybe make this a full-time job, then I'm going to help you find, figure that out today. But it's not quite that simple, right? So sometimes you can pick up a part-time job. Some of us may be working part-time jobs, working full-time and still trying to build our businesses or income in the process of that. So what I'm going to do today is help you break down those different ideas, those different skills or extra extra ideas that you may have and been thinking about how could I make some extra cash and you just don't know what to do. So that's what we're going to figure out today. So the internet has fundamentally changed how we make money, right? Now there are dozens of ways to make extra cash through a variety of online techniques. We're no longer forced to take traditional jobs in order to make money. If there is a way or an idea that you thought of or anything that you can imagine to make money, then you probably can do it online. I mean, it's, it's so many different things, but it could be intimidating to think about it, trying to make money online, especially if you've never done it before. The internet is absolutely huge, we all know that, and trying to sort through all of those options can feel incredibly intimidating. So luckily, I'm gonna help you sort through some of those options today. And in this workshop, I promise you, you're gonna discover 12 simple ways that you can make money online. Some of these methods will be more lucrative than others, and some will require more work. Notice I'm going to mention that a lot during this workshop, that it's going to require more work. That's the key thing. You can have an idea or want to start something, but if you don't put in that work to do it, then it's basically not going to go anywhere. So some of these money-making methods can even turn into full-time jobs or full-time businesses. But again, they all are proven and there are sound ways that you can make money online. I will not steer you wrong. So none of these methods, I want to take a quick second and make sure that I emphasize this. None of these methods are get rich quick schemes. None of them. One thing that's important to note before we get started is that these are real sustainable ways to make money. All of them require actual effort and an investment of your time. So if you don't have time to put into this or you're not the type of person that's willing to work for what you want, then this may not be for you. There are no shortcuts, no hacks, no way to make the ridiculous sums of money every day. You know, these are real options that pay you real money as long as you put in that work. I told you I'm going to say that word a couple of times today. You have to put in the work, but these are real options that can pay and that you can make real money from. So don't fall for these get quick online schemes. They almost never, never pan out. I know a lot of people have ran into some of those where they'll say, hey, sign up for this and you can make $1,000 today or, you know, it's not true. So instead, you want to go for the proven sustainable ways of making money online. That's what this workshop is all about. So let's dive in and get down to it. So the first method that I want to talk to you about is affiliate marketing. What affiliate marketing is, it's an outstanding way to get started making money online. 
The bar to entry is relatively low and you can get started with it right away. You don't have to make it a lot of investments on it. A lot of these marketing things, they've already been set up for you. So what you basically do is you promote an online product or service created by someone else. And when someone purchases a product or service through your promotion, you get commission or a portion of that sale. So typically, you promote the online product through a link and that's connected to you. You can link it to your website, your web store, your Facebook page. I mean, anything that you post, you can do it. You can promote these as an online product, a service created, delivered, and a service by someone else. When someone purchases a product or service, you get a commission or a portion of that sale. Another thing is Amazon affiliates. It's a very simple example of an affiliate program. Amazon affiliates, it's once you sign up for the affiliate program, you can promote any product on Amazon. And I know we all shop on Amazon like all the time. So if someone clicks on your affiliate link and then they purchase that product, you get a small portion of that sale as well. So there's also other ways that you can make affiliate money through other networks such as ClickBank, ShareASell, or CJ Affiliates. These affiliate programs have thousands of products as well. You can choose from anything. Um, they have top retailers like GoPro, Barnes & Noble, Lowe's, and so many different more. I mean, you'd be surprised. And it's some of the things that we basically use and buy every day. So if you are a fan of that product and you're using it, why not make money from it? So there's also numerous ways to promote the products. I mean, it's like, it's unlimited. It's only limited to your imagination. So if you have a closed mindset and you're not really into things like that, you probably wouldn't see a profit or know how to really get into it. But I mean, the profit is endless with this. So another thing that you can do is you can write reviews of products on your blog and you can include affiliate links to have a banner or ads on your website promoting the products. You can post affiliate links to social media. For example, you can write a blog post about the top 10, let's say um, the top 10 beauty supply stores or the top 10 boutiques in town, or you can have a banner ad featuring a shoe or a certain product on your website, or you could post links to deals on shoes on Facebook or Twitter, or you could let your email list know about a great deal on the shoes that you have. You, if you don't have an email list, list, I'm sorry, you should definitely be building one because there's a way to make money with that as well. So if you have any sort of audience, whether it be on social media, through an email list, a website, you have the opportunity to make money through affiliate marketing. I'm telling you, if, well, if you can get into it, it, it's money in it. Affiliate marketing is a great way to make money online because you don't have to create any products. The products are already created for you. And that's one of the reasons Affiliate marketing is such a great way to make money online. I use it a lot. Um, if you ever checked out any of my websites, you can see links on my blog for different things that I link back to certain things. You can cross promote. I mean, it's so many different things that you can do. And like I said, you don't have to create any products or deliver, deliver them or the service to the customers. You're simply selling what somebody else has already created and manages. So you're just a promoter, and if someone purchases it through your promotion, then you make that money, if that makes sense. So creating your own products, it can be difficult sometimes. It takes a lot of work. Um, it's a process, and affiliate marketing removes that difficulty from the equation. So you can get started right away with that. Again, um, all of these things that I'm going to be telling you today are things that you can start like today. So all it takes is a setup. It's just to set up the promotion, set up the links on your website, and then boom, you ready to roll. Whoever clicks on it, you're making money from that sale. So affiliate marketers can make thousands of dollars every month.
Uh, the next method that we're going to talk about is to sell your products online, as you can see right here. Um, I have a website. There's plenty of people, uh, coaches, salons, uh, boutiques, schools, any type of business that you can think of, they're making some type of product that they could sell online. So also before you can sell, we all know, before you can sell us anything online, you'll need a website in which you can sell the products. So if you don't want to set up your own e-commerce store, you can sell your products easily on places like eBay, Amazon, Etsy, Poshmark, Craigslist, and many other places. These are all good. Oh, I'm having <laughs> like a brain fart. These are all good platforms to sell on. So if you want to sell your products on your own website, you'll need to create one where you can list products and accept payments. That's an option as well, where you're making all your profits. You're not going through a third party. You basically have to set your website up with the functionality to work that way. So thankfully, companies like Shopify, similar platforms um, like GoDaddy, I use that a lot. I'm a GoDaddy reseller, a pro. They offer a lot of these options with creating websites where you don't have to go create all these accounts on different platforms. There's like a all in one thing. So it makes it really easy to set up an e-commerce store. In a relatively short term, you can have an online store up and running and ready to sell a product and get paid for them in less than an hour. Like no, no lie. So what type of products you want to sell online, that's totally and completely up to you. It, it goes off of you your products, what you sell, the type of brand that you have. Um, you can sell homemade products that you can make yourself. I mean, it's totally up to you. You can also sell products that you've already purchased on sites like eBay, Amazon, and Poshmark. For example, let's say you like to go to the thrift stores and you can find great products to sell on eBay at thrift stores if you're willing to do a little honey. You can sell them on stuff like Etsy. I mean, there's the options are limitless. You can also, you also have the option to do drop shipping. Excuse me, I had to take a drink. Drop shipping works a little bit different though than a standard way of selling products online. With drop shipping, you find a product that's available online for a relatively inexpensive amount. So you list the product on your own e-commerce store for a higher amount. And then when you make a sale, you keep the markup amount and then the maker of the product then sends the product directly to the buyer without you ever touching it, if that makes sense. So drop shipping is an option as well. Um, with drop shipping, you'll basically be like the middleman, though, connecting the buyer and the seller and then taking a portion of the sale. Now, um, if you're really committed to selling products online, you can have a product manufacturer. This involves, uh, again, I'm going to note this, this involves a significant amount of investment and time and money, and it requires following a number of somewhat complicated steps. So if you're really into that and you have the money and the time to commit to it, then that's definitely something that you can invest in and do too. And out of all these options selling products on sites like eBay, in Etsy, it's probably the simplest way to get started making money online, especially if you're already a crafter or you have things that you already like doing. So, are you a web designer, a writer, assistant? Do you have an online store of brick and mortar store, online boutique, uh, hair salon, I maybe already said that. I mean, anything, if you, if you do, 
then you can make money online. You can sell your services online. If you have not started selling your services online, you should. There are literally hundreds of thousands of businesses that need these services that you provide and you can make good money selling your services to them. So depending on your skill set and your ability to pitch to new clients and get new clients in or just market yourself, you can make a full-time living as a freelancer. So um, a freelancer is relatively easy to get started doing as well. There's just a few things that you need to get started. You will create a portfolio of basically some of the things that you already do. Um, this way, the businesses will be able to see your work. If they're going to hire you, they want to be confident that they're hiring the right person. So a portfolio shows that you've already done solid work and you know what you're doing. And then you'll want to set your prices, of course. There are numerous ways to set your prices, including by the hour, the project, as a retainer fee. It's up to you and what works best for you. And then you also want to reach out to potential clients. There are numerous ways to connect with them as well. You can call them on the phone. You can email them. You can reach out to them on social platforms like LinkedIn. If you haven't converted to LinkedIn yet, that's definitely something that you might want to jump onto because you build a lot of trustworthy business relationships on LinkedIn. You can apply for jobs on sites like Upwork and Thumbstack, and you can also list your products on platforms like Fiverr. You can also list them on Facebook. There's a number of ways that you can make money as a freelancer. So getting a freelancer career started is easy, but if you're diligent about finding and applying for jobs, then you can turn it into a profitable business or uh, practice very easy and very quickly. And the key to succeeding in the freelance world is persistence. The key to persistence, the key to succeeding in anything, I think is persistence. You may have to overcome a number of no's in order to get to a yes, but if you're persistent and you're able to overcome objections and you don't take every no to heart, you should be able to start making consistent money as a freelancer. It's very easy. So the next thing we're going to talk about um, is becoming an online coach. If you have significant knowledge in any particular industry or area of expertise, then you can package your knowledge and sell it. In other words, you're selling your expertise as opposed to a product or service, if that makes sense. You're selling your knowledge. So what sort of coach could you become? You could become any type of coach. The options are endless. You could be a health coach life coach, music coach, finance coach, executive coach, sales coach, so much more, uh, uh, nail coach, um, any type of business or anything that you could think of that someone does, you can coach them in it if you have that knowledge and those skills. In order to be a coach, you simply need to be able to add high, to add a high amount of value to your clients. You need to be able to help them. You need to be able to become consistently, help them become consistently better at what they do. You need to be able to help them improve their craft in ways that they couldn't if you weren't there to help them. So basically your role is to help them be better as if you're their coach through any obstacle, anything that's coming up. There's different ways to package your coaching services. There's one-on-one -on -one coaching, there's group coaching, and of course, there's a company accompanying coaching support. So you might be thinking, but I'm not an expert in anything. So how could I be a coach? Luckily, you don't have to be an expert to be a coach. Like I say, you just have to have that knowledge and have expertise in a certain area or that skill. You simply have to be able to add significant value to your clients. For example, let's say that you want to be a health coach. You don't need to be a registered dietitian in order to help people get healthy, right? Does that help? Yeah, but it's not a requirement, right? So maybe you 
simply have a lot of experience in the health field and you've developed your own particular sense of forgetting healthy. Or maybe you're a longtime fitness lover and you've accumulated a large amount of knowledge about fitness. You may not be an expert in the sense that you don't have a degree, but you still acquire the expertise through your experience, if that makes sense. So that's why I say if you have the knowledge and you have some type of experience in that area, then you can consider yourself an expert in that. So there are a number of platforms that make it easy to do coaching, such as Clarify.fm, Savvy.is, Coach.me. All these platforms make it easy to connect with clients and to receive payment for your coaching services. So the next thing that we're going to talk about is creating online courses. Online courses are a fantastic way to monetize your knowledge that you already have in online coaching. It requires regular meetings with a small number of clients. You can sell your course to hundreds, if not thousands of people through online co I mean online courses, I'm sorry. And you can create a course around most, almost around anything. So any subject, you can find people to purchase it. Um, anything like to losing weight. learning to play the piano, painting, singing, creating. I mean, there's a number of things you could think about it that you can create a course in. In order to create a course though, you need a platform to distribute it, just like with a website. So there are many ways you can create and distribute a course. You can create an email course in which all the lessons are deliverable via email. Excuse me, um, this is live and my phone's on. Uh, I went back to the slides. So um, and, um, you can create an email course in which all the lessons are delivered via email, like I said, or you can build a course that's primary text-based. And you can create a video course where you film yourself teaching, or you can create a hybrid text video course. That features a variety of resources. You simply need a method for getting your lessons into the hands of your students, a way to promote it. So there's websites and platforms which make it easy to create these courses and help you keep your students enrolled and accept payments. Places like Teachable, um, those are one of the platforms that I'm using, Udemy, Udemy Thinkific, Kajabi, and Talent LMS. Those are all places that can get you started relatively easy on setting up an online course and starting making money from that. So one way to get a great feel for what a course should look like is to make a few, take a few courses yourself. So if you haven't taken an online course before, that's something that you might want to do. So method six that we're going to talk about is to create YouTube videos. One way that you can get started with that, again, it takes work and time to build up your subscriber base, but believe it or not, YouTube is actually a relatively good way to make money online. But once you do, you can start monetizing it effectively, but you have to put in the work and time to build it. So how do you make money through YouTube videos? The simplest way is by implementing their advertising program. If you have over a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of view time over the past 12 months, you can have YouTube show ads before your videos. So for every thousand views a video gets, you'll make an average somewhere between two to four dollars. Granted, this may not seem like a lot, but YouTube is a numbers game. For example, let's say that you have 100 videos and each video gets 5,000 views per month. That works out to somewhere between $1,000 and $2,000 per month. So imagine if your video started going viral and getting millions of views, how much that would be. And when creating YouTube videos, your content will probably fall into one of the two categories.
that will be educational. These videos educate viewers in some way. Maybe you offer a tutorial on how to solve a commonly encountered problem, or maybe you educate people on an important subject. Your goal is simply to provide valuable, insightful information to your views. The next one will be entertainment. These videos are much more lighthearted and are intended to bring a smile to the face of your viewers. So once you start producing your YouTube videos, you'll also need to work on consistently growing your channel to break that thousand subscriber mark. So some simple yet effective ways to grow your channel would be sharing your videos on social media, posting your videos to your website, sending your videos to your email list, and asking people to subscribe to your channel. In many ways, growing your YouTube channel is like growing a blog. If you haven't started one before, um, if you follow me, you can check out some of my tutorials and my blog posts on starting a blog. It takes time and consistency. If you post one video per month, you probably won't get much traction. However, if you post once or twice a week and you consistently promoting those videos, you'll slowly but surely start building your channel. It's the more you post, the more subscribers you get, the more views you rack up and the more money you'll make. So the next thing, method seven will be write and sell a book. Another highly effective way to monetize your knowledge is to write and sell a book. In addition to making you money with every sale, writing a book has a number of other specific benefits. Like it establishes you as a thought leader in your industry. It provides you with a resource to give to your clients. And it also allows you to attract new clients who wouldn't have heard about you otherwise. So if you thought writing an entire book intimidates you, then there are numbers, a numerous of ways that you can still get a book written. You can download, let me see. You can use done for you content. You can hire a ghostwriter who can create an outline and then hire a ghostwriter on Upwork of Fiverr to write the book for you. And then once you've written your book, you need to get a cover design and have the book printed. You can have it printed on demand, which each purchase through Amazon, CreateSpace, and you can easily get a cover design through Upwork or Fiverr, or you can post an ad on Facebook or just make a post. As if for a content creator nowadays, you can basically get anything online. So alternatively, if you want to design the cover yourself, you can use software like Canva, which is my favorite. I love it, I love it, I love it. Canva, you can do basically anything. So you're going to want to promote your book, post about it on your website, send an announcement to your email list. If you notice, I keep saying email list. If you have not started growing one, you need to create shareable graphics with quotes from the book using Canva. You can share insights from the book on social media, create a video promoting the book, and share it to YouTube and other platforms that you use. Can you make good money selling books you wrote? Sure. Let's say you charge $7 per book and you sell a thousand copies, right? That's 7,000 minus the printing cost and the fees. If you're self-publishing, if you're going through somebody else, then mm, probably less than that. So method A will be to start a blog. If you have a knack for writing, blogging can be an effective way to make money online. Now, to be clear, blogging in and of itself doesn't pay unless you're doing it for someone else on a freelance basis. So, however, there are numerous ways to monetize a blog. In other words, there are a variety of ways you can turn your blog into a money-making machine, but you have to put in the work, and it's going to take time to build and be consistent with it. How can you make money with a blog? So here are some ways 
and I'm going to tell you the most effective ones to make money. Affiliate marketing, like we spoke about before, by regularly promoting affiliate products on your blog, as well as writing reviews about products, you can make a significant number of commissions from that. And these can add up quickly, result in into hundreds to thousands of dollars a month, depending on how much time you have to put in and invest into it. The next one will be promote your services. A blog can be one of the most effective promotion tools for your business. For example, let's say you're a health coach. By regularly writing posts about health, then you establish yourself as a health expert. This will attract new clients, result in, in an influx of cash, but you have to be persistent and consistent with it. Then there's advertisements. You can put advertisements advertisements throughout your blog those are platforms like google adsense those make it easy to put ads on your blog and you don't even have to worry about finding advertisers for this they do all the hard work for you and you can get paid based on how many people see or click on the ads if you ever heard of click ads before it's the bigger your audience the more people who see your ads and the more money you make And then there's sponsor posts. Those are when your partner, when you partner with a brand to create original content for your website. And then the content is typically somehow related to the brand and then it promotes the brand in a unique, unique way. I'm getting tongue tied. So in return for you posting on your blog, the brand pays you a set amount, if that makes sense. So before you get started with blogging, it's important to know that monetizing a blog requires an audience. And if no one reads your blog, then you can't make money from it. But however, if you have a large number of people who read it on a regular basis, then you can make a significant amount of money from that. If you don't have an audience right away, then don't feel bad. Don't give up. Don't stop keep going because by blogging consistently and then sharing those posts online through social media you can steadily start building your audience so with blogging consistency is the key that's what anything if you want to build an audience it's critical that you create outstanding material on a consistent basis so then method nine is becoming a virtual assistant. I put this little note in saying, you got this. I got a little bit more to go so I can get through this. I was a little nervous at first. So a virtual assistant is someone who performs a larger variety of tasks for a person, like a normal assistant who works in close physical proximity to the person. So you don't need to be anywhere near the person who you're assisting. All the tasks are given to you online. So with many business owners being overwhelmed by the amount of tasks that they have, they have to do every day as well, the virtual assistant market is heating up now. So if you're organized and you can effectively get tasks done and are able to communicate effectively online, then you might make an, you might make an outstanding virtual assistant. Now, what sort of tasks might a virtual assistant perform? perform? They can do anything to respond in the email, purchasing items online, making phone calls, inputting. Um, there's a number of things that a virtual assistant can do. Like, what can they do? Um, where you can look for virtual assistant gigs, you'll find them in many of the same places that you look for jobs. On websites, um, Fiverr, Indeed, LinkedIn. LinkedIn, 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 please. If you have not made a LinkedIn profile, you need to get one. The universal assistant isn't for everyone, though. You must be comfortable performing a large variety of tasks and a willing attitude. However, if you're capable, if you're a capable person who has a knack for checking off tasks, then being a virtual assistant could be a great fit for you. Like if you love accomplishing things, goals, if you can multitask, then being a virtual assistant is definitely for you. Okay, number 10 would be to tutor people. Tutor people in English or another language, if you know it. 
If you have a knack for teaching and you love to regularly meet with people, tutoring people in English could be a great way for you to make money online. There are a list of places that are hiring for that right now. There's diff um, this is different from teaching English as a second language, which tip typically requires some form of certification, though. There are numerous countries in which people are willing to pay for an English tutor, sometimes as much as $25 an hour. So if you are already certified in that field or have some type of experience as a teacher, you can make money being an English tutor online, making about 25, making 20, over a little bit from $25 an hour over. So how can you know if teaching English will be a good fit for you? So consider these ideas. If you have a solid grasp of English grammar and you can understand the nonsense of speaking English, you have a bachelor's degree, this is typically required and you can communicate, communicate clearly and you have the ability to teach and you enjoy talking with others, you're patient, this is definitely critical, and you're comfortable using technology like Skype, maybe Zoom or Google Classrooms, then teaching or tutoring online might be a good fit for you. So there are a number of places where you can find online tutoring jobs, Indeed, Learn for Good, Remote.co, Verbal Planet, Check Tutors, Teach Away, and VP Kid. Those are some sites you might want to check out. Um, one plus of tutoring people in English is that it exposes you to a variety of cultures and places you will never experience otherwise. One day, you may tutor someone from Korea, while another day you may tutor someone from Saudi Arabia. It just depends. Method 11 would be to sell stock photos. Do you like taking pictures? And are you always snapping away with your phone or camera? You might be a great candidate for selling stock photos online. If you're familiar with these, then stock, if you're unfamiliar, I'm sorry, with these stock photos are photos that are licensed to customers for a fee. Stock photo sites such as iStock and Shutterstock allow you to submit your photos to their site. And then each time someone purchases them, a license to use one of your photos, you get a small royalty. Typically, it's just a few dollars. And making money with selling stock photos is a numbers game as well, like YouTube. If you only have a few photos available for download, you probably won't make much money. So, but however, you have thousands of photos, um, like you're the type of person just have mad photos in your camera, like decent photos, photos of outside different things and you can make money if you want to make money through a site like shutterstock or iStock then you can start today and you could begin making a substantial amount of income from that because people use stock photos a lot and the photos you take always keep in mind they should be of the highest quality if you want people to download your photos or purchase them they need to be compelling, interesting, and outstanding. You can't put dull, blurry photos on the website to do it. Um, the last thing is to do odd jobs on things like TaskRabbit. TaskRabbit is a website that allows you to do all sorts of odd jobs. You want to help someone pack up, move their house, you can do that through TaskRabbit. You know how to assemble a table. You can earn anywhere from $50 to $150 doing so. Are you a cleaning professional? You like to clean? You can earn anywhere from $50 to $125 for cleaning bathrooms and kitchens, uh, starting your own business doing that, especially right now. A lot of people need it. The beauty of TaskRapid is the sheer number of jobs that are available through the site. All of them can be easily managed through an app. 
And it's a particularly good option if you want flexibility and ability to make good money. So the money is definitely out there. You just got to work for it and go get it. We live in an incredibly unique time right now, and you no longer have to work for a company in order to make money. You don't have to work a nine-to-five job. You don't have to sit in a cubicle, and you don't have to clock in and out. You have the freedom and flexibility to do whatever you want. You can have it. You just got to work for it. You can make money on your schedule doing the jobs you want to do. Again, it's just something you have to work for. So you want to make a little income on the side while you stay at home with your children, you can do that too. Right now, we have the power to do anything we want to. You can create it. You can think about it. You can do it online. If you want to build a full-time career as a freelancer, you can do that. The ways you can make money online are like almost endless. The possibility is endless. You're only limited by your imagination. So what we talked about today was affiliate marketing, selling products online, selling your services as a freelancer, becoming an online coach, creating online courses, creating YouTube videos, writing and selling a book, starting a blog, becoming a virtual assistant, tutoring people in English, selling stock photos, and doing odd jobs on TaskRabbit. So if you can imagine it, you can make money doing it. But really, we just scratched the surface in terms of what's available out there. If you can imagine it, you can make money doing it. All that's required is some hustle. If you want to succeed in making money online, you have to be willing to put in the work to find either the resources or the knowledge, the skills that you need to be able to start this business or whether it's to find a job, you just have to be willing to put in the work. And once you have it, it's important to be self-disciplined to ensure that it gets done. So now I want to invite you to book a free consultation with me. There's absolutely zero obligation or risk with a phone call. Here's what we'll do on that call. We'll hop on the phone together, talk about your strengths and your weaknesses, and then come up with the winning strategy for making money online. We'll figure out how you can make money in a way that matches up perfectly with your strengths. Like I said, again, it's absolutely free with zero obligation. You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. So go ahead and book a call with me. You simply go to the domain that's on the screen. It did not take me back there. Let me go back. Oh, it is gone. It's okay. So you'll go here and book your free consultation. The money is out there, it's waiting for you. So don't wait any longer to start making money online. Just go ahead, make sure you book your call today. If you have any questions about anything, you're unclear of certain things, just give me a call and set up that consultation. Um, now I wanna invite you to work with me to generate even more income online. I created an in-depth course that is called The Ultimate Ways to Make It Money Online. This course has five modules and in each module, It'll take you one step further in making money in the online space. You'll learn everything you need to know about making money online. If you're struggling to generate income online, this course is exactly what you need. It'll give you a step-by-step -step roadmap so you can figure out the best way to make money online. Normally, this course regularly costs $2.97, but because you've been a part of this presentation, I want to offer it to you today for $19.95. This price is only available for a limited time. If you're asking me why I'm doing it so cheap right now, it's because of what's going on, and I want everybody to be able to take advantage of it and learn 
from it and be able to utilize and put these skills into place. So I look forward to you joining me, whether it be for a free consultation or to join me with the workshop. And I want to thank you for being a part of this course today. And I look forward to speaking with you again. You all have a blessed day.